Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at nested loops. Now if you remember back a couple tutorials, we learned about if statements and that how you can nest if statements inside of each other to where um, in the if statement case both of the values have to be true for it to run. Now it's a little different for for loops but the concept is still the same. So let's go ahead and make a demo project for it. So we'll go to new project and we will call this nested loops. Now we can also nest do until loops, we can nest do while loops. There's a lot of stuff in Visual Basic that you can nest inside of each other. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. So let's go ahead and create a for loop. So for num1 equals 1, 2, let's just go 10 then go ahead and do the code that is inside of this for loop. So let's come down here and after our next we'll go ahead and add console.readline. Okay so now inside of our for loop we're going to add another for loop. So for num2 num2 equals 1 2 10 go ahead and console.writeline and we'll just write line num2. So what this, is, what this is going to do is the first time this for loop runs it's going to print out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then it's going to go back to the top and it's going to print it out again. So what I mean by this is if we run this we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and it does this 10 times so we have 100 um, integer values here printed out on our screen. Now let's go ahead and organize this a little bit better. So instead of using console.writeLine let's just go ahead and use console.write and you can see here that it'll print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and it goes through this. Now this isn't very nice looking either so there's one more thing that we can do to kind of clean this up and um, make a grid out of the numbers that we have. So inside of our first for loop, we'll just do console dot right line. So I'll go ahead and run this and then explain to you how this code works. So you can see that it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it goes down to the line below it. And this is a ten by ten grid, so there's one hundred um, integer values on this grid. Okay, so now basically what happens when we create this for loop is we have for num1 equals 1 to 10 and every time this is um, this for loop is iterated it iterates this for loop right here so starting off num1 is equal to 1 it's going to do 1 to 10 it's going to do console dot right and it's going to have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then after this outside of this for loop which is all by itself it's going to do console dot right line inside of this for loop so it goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then down the line and it goes back up to the top and it does that again and it's going to do that 10 times to give us a grid now we can also do this with like I said do whiles and do until loops um, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure out how to do that with your do loops and um, once you practice that a bit, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial, and thanks for watching.